All right, so in the last video, we learned what the blues scale was, not much different than the pentatonic. And in this video, we're going to expand on it just a little bit and try to create um, more motion throughout the neck. All right, so let's go over the blues scale one more time. Okay, so that's A minor blues. Root note being our first finger on the A. Okay, so first of all, let's figure out what the difference is between the major and minor blues. Um, a lot of people mess this up and mess up their, their blues playing over chords and many songs. Alright, so first of all, it's kind of like to your discretion when you're playing a song, whether you want the song to have more attitude, more of a bluesy attitude, or be more pretty. Um, if we're playing something, you know, a good jazz piece, a, a one four five chord progression in the key of A. That has some attitude to it, okay? So we probably want to use the minor blues scale, which is the one we've been playing on, the A minor. You want to use that with these chords. Alright. So you can see how that fits pretty well. Good and nasty sounding. All right, so let's say we're playing something a little bit softer. This could have more of a major sound, okay? So let's move our minor position, our blues minor, down to the major, okay? Where our, our uh, fourth finger is on the A. And then play the same scale. So you can see how that fits pretty well together. All right, so that's the difference between the blues and the majors. I mean the blues majors and the blues minors. All right, so it's kind of up to your discretion where you, whether you want to do that. You can do that in rock music a lot. You can play heavy metal music and play the blues minor. It has a cool sound. All right, so what we're going to do now is take the lead pattern that we learned in the first video from the pentatonic scale and we're going to apply the blues techniques to those lead patterns. Okay, so let's go back and do the lead patterns. Say we're in the key of um, A minor blues. All right, so we're going to start the lead pattern, the first lead pattern we learn on our fourth finger. So we're in the key of A minor, but the key of C major. One, three, five, three, five. And just, just repeating that in two different octaves. All right, so now we have the A blues, A minor blues scale. Mixed in with that um, C pentatonic. All right, so now all these, all these positions in this um, C pentatonic lead pattern are, guess what, one threes. So let's, just for fun, let's just make them all chromatic, okay? So let's play, instead of going one, three, five, one, three, let's go one, two, three, slide up the five, and repeat three, four, and five. Then the same thing on the next string down. back down doing the same thing. Okay, so we're just doing one, two, threes all in that scale, messing it all up. Getting good, good and jazzy, good and bluesy. And of course you can bend these as well. Okay, and of course you can do that with the fifth of this scale on the um, other lead pattern we learned. 
All right, so just keep in mind there is a difference between blues, majors, and minors. You don't want to mix them up or it could sound pretty bad. And, uh, and just get in there and make it sound nasty. You know, make it sound really gross. And putting those half steps in there. And a lot of those one threes. And, uh, and then you have your blues. So it's really the playing style and the attitude that changes the scale from a blues or to a blues from a pentatonic. Okay? So, you know, you have your pentatonic sound for your rock, but your blues sounds a lot more more attitude, more jazzy. So it's all about attitude when it comes to blues. All right, so moving on to the next video.